This year celebrates the 85th anniversary of the Rabinsk Experimental Design Bureau, OKB's establishment. It is now known as the ODK Saturn Venture, which is part of the United Engine Corporation. Throughout its history, it has created distinctive domestic engines for a variety of aircraft, as well as gas turbine engines for energy and maritime purposes. The advanced scientific and technical solutions had a considerable impact on the creation of new engine generations, as well as the industry's overall progress. The Rabinsk's history began in 1939 when a team at the Moscow Aviation Institute designed the M250, an engine with a takeoff power of about 2,500 horsepower. During the war, the team relocated many times, first to Voronezh and Ufa, before settling in Rabinsk in the fall of 1943. Vladimir Dobrynin was hired as the bureau's head and lead designer. Under his leadership, the designers successfully built the M250 aviation engine, which was eventually used to build the more powerful M251TK motor. This engine laid the groundwork for the M253K aviation engine, which became well known as the VD4K in honor of Vladimir Dobrynin. This engine, intended for the four-engine heavy intercontinental bomber 285, was the world's best in terms of piston aviation engine production specifications. Vladimir Dobrynin's most recent development was the VD7 engine, which had a takeoff thrust of 11,000 kg and powered the subsonic long-range strategic bomber 3M. The VD7B was Rabinsk's first jet engine to be mass-produced, and it was mounted on the four-engine intercontinental strategic 3M aircraft. According to Russian media, it was the most fuel-efficient engine available at the time, both domestically and internationally. Later, Rabinsk hired Pyotr Kolosov as its head designer, transforming the engine building. His finest achievement was the RD-3651A engine for the supersonic passenger plane TU-144D. Even without afterburners, the RD-3651A engines delivered enough force to propel the aircraft into supersonic flight. These engines enabled the aircraft to fly the 8,000-kilometer journey between Moscow and Khabarovsk in 3 hours and 23 minutes. Pyotr Kolesov oversaw the development of engines such as the RD-3641 for the supersonic T-4, the RD-3651V for the high-altitude M-17 aircraft, and several engines for vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, including the RD-3635FVR and RD-38. The RD-7M2 became the most widely manufactured Rabinsk engine for the Tu-22K bomber. In subsequent years, the Rabinsk Design Bureau created numerous significant power units for domestic aviation, including the RD-38 engine and its several variants used in the AN-71 and A-40 amphibious aircraft. The Bureau also developed turboprop engines, including the RD-600V for the KA-62 helicopter and the TVD-1500 for small aircraft such as the AN-38 and GRAC. Another approach was to create naval gas turbine engines, beginning with the M75RU and progressing to the more powerful M70FRU. The Rabinsk Bureau faced significant challenges throughout the 1990s. The solution came in 1997 when it merged with the OJSC Rabinsk Motors facility, which was a critical step in building the contemporary ODK Saturn firm. Another key milestone in its development was the 2001 merger with Moscow's OJSC Alulka Saturn, which culminated in the establishment of OJSC NPO Saturn. NPO Saturn became a art of the United Engine Corporation in 2008. The Rabinsk Design Bureau completed several experimental design projects, modernized and improved a series of gas turbine engines, and developed the technology for creating a marine gas turbine engine with an 8-megawatt capacity, as well as a gas turbine unit based on the same power. The Rabinsk Bureau is involved in crucial projects for the United Engine Corporation that are critical to the growth of domestic engine production. It boasts all of the essential resources, including a modern research and testing facility, its own experimental production, and a diverse set of capabilities. ODK Saturn's design divisions make full use of modern design technologies such as 3D modeling, a closed-loop design cycle, and numerical simulation. Today's key challenges include developing with cost parameters in mind, establishing a scientific and technical foundation, enhancing serial production support, and actively mastering and using innovative technologies at all stages of operation. 
Knowledge management is also very important. One major achievement has been the development and mass production of high-power turbines, notably the GTE-110M for the energy sector. The Udaraya Thermal Power Plant, Russia's most technologically advanced combined cycle power plant, is set to commission its first series production GTE-110M. Three new GTE-110M turbines will be produced and supplied to modernize the Novocherkask power station. ODK Saturn is also the primary developer of the PD-8 aviation engine for short-haul passenger jets like the SJ-100. The company is developing a new approach to certification that uses digital twin technology and computer modeling to lower the scope of physical testing and accelerate the PD-8 engine certification. Rubinsk engineers also worked on the development of PD-14 series aircraft engines for medium-haul passenger aircraft like the MC-21-310. Roman Krumen currently manages the ODK Saturn Design Agency, which employs over 800 individuals, with a third being young specialists. Now, do you think Rubinsk had successful projects only during Soviet times? Let us know in the comments. Don't miss out on the latest aerospace insights. Hit that like and subscribe button for more amazing content. Please also take a look into our memberships to support us.